How's it going everyone? This is John Hoover. I just wanted to put together a quick video this morning to walk everyone through Google Hangouts and talk a bit about what it is and how I think it can help TTS move forward. Uh, Google Hangouts is part of Google Plus, which is the new social networking service that Google rolled out a couple weeks back. Compete with things such as Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn to some extent once the business aspects get rolled out more. Uh, specifically though, I think Google Hangouts, which is the video conferencing aspect, can be useful for TTS. So, I'll show it to you real quick. We have the general Google Home screen here, which everyone's pretty familiar with at this point. It's been around for quite a few years now. And if you look in the top left corner, it'll either say plus you if you don't have a Google Plus account yet, or it'll say plus in your name if you do. In my case, I have a Google Plus, so it says plus John. Click on that, and it brings up the generic Google Plus home screen. Uh, not really going to talk about that this much this morning. Specifically though, I want to show you start a Google Hangout. So I click on this and it brings up the Google Hangout screen. Google Hangout allows for up to 10 people at one time to video conference for free using Google+. Plus. Um, there's a couple of really interesting things with this that I think can help TTS, especially with showing our products to clients that are interested in either Odyssey or in our e-learning modules. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up to my circles. Odds are no one's going to join this right now. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of people in my circles that are going to be on video conferencing this morning at all. So we should have it to ourselves to walk through some basic functionality stuff. And then I'll do another video later that actually has a full set of people on the bottom and you can see how it actually works in use. So start the hangout. And it's going to bring up your Hangout screen. No one is here right now. It's going to say because I'm the only one on it. If there was a second person here, then the person talking would show up on this main part of the screen. And you'd see two smaller images below of the people that are involved. Or ten if you fill it up completely. Uh, so, the icons along the bottom. First one is Invite. This is the same screen that we just saw a moment ago, except as a sidebar instead of the main screen. And allows you to invite people while the hangout's going on. So say I want to invite friends, family, acquaintances, uh, my entire circles, extended circles, and the public, and I could open up to everything else I have a circle for. Circles in Google Plus are how you organize your different groups of people. So you have a circle for work, friends, business contacts, whatever else you might need to have a separate group for to only involve them, and it's a quick way to add people to, say, a Google Hangout, such as this. Next one is chat. What chat's useful for are sidebar conversations that don't necessarily involve the main conversation that's going on or for asking questions to someone that might be presenting something. So let's say I was doing a presentation on Odyssey and I wanted to ask, how fast does a network need to be for Odyssey? Okay, type it in, it pops up, and the person that's conducting the conversation or presentation can see the question and can respond to it without having to necessarily interrupt their speech flow. Uh, you can also use it for posting things such as links. So let's say I had a, doc a document I wanted to share that was on our network with the other people within the company. I could post it there, then click on it, it brings up a document they can look at at the same time. Or if I wanted to share something, say, over on Google Docs or something else out there, you know, the actual Odyssey website, the technology transfer website, you can post them there, they'll get a link, they click on it, it opens a new browser page. The next tab that we have is YouTube. This is a really neat feature. It allows you to show a video while you can continue talking with somebody. So let's say I wanted to just demonstrate the Odyssey video that we have on YouTube. First search result that comes up is Technology Transfer Services Odyssey. Click on that. It's going to start up our video for us. By default, it puts the person that's talking on mute and switches over to the video audio. You can mute the video audio in order to continue to be able talking or if I want to hear the video audio click push to talk and you can talk at the same time okay so no now we have our video playing in the background uh, so chat YouTube next we have mute video so explanatory if I wanted to put up a black screen and say I wanted to do something else click this it's gonna take away the actual video you can still hear the audio I click mute mic and it would mute my mic so it allows you to you know, walk away from the computer, do something else, and not necessarily close out the session. Settings, just some generic settings within Google Hangouts. Uh, nothing too fancy as of yet. 
some basic functionality, video working, mic working, you know, what camera do you want to use, default devices, nothing too fancy there. Also nothing you can use on. It's a very simple layout, so you can get somebody set up on a plus account for free, invite somebody to this, and they don't have to mess with anything in order to be able to do a video conference. There's no IP address entering, nothing like that, it just works. And of course exit. So that's pretty much going to cover it for this video right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll get into an actual conference that's going on already, and then you can see the functionality of it. Okay?